Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review the Spongebob episode don't look now. This episode is about when Spongebob and Patrick go to the movie theater to go see a horror movie called Fisherman 4. They think they're men enough to go see the film. But as they see the film, they get scared. And then once they're done seeing the film, they're actually convinced that the fisherman is actually real. I was really excited for Don't Look Now. It sounded like a very cool and original idea. The episode, in my opinion, is okay, it's enjoyable, but it could have been a whole lot better. It's definitely not a bad episode by any means. The storyline to this episode is just, yeah, it's okay, it's kind of there. My problems with this episode is how Spongebob and Patrick, they scream a lot in this episode. And I mean, a whole lot. It got repetitive, and it got pretty annoying for me, in my opinion. And I just didn't really find it that funny. It's like, every 30 seconds, Spongebob and Patrick have to be screaming about thinking if the fisherman is real or not. And then, honestly, there was this filler moment where Patrick gets scared to go home, so... Spongebob walks Patrick home, and then Spongebob gets scared to go back to his home, so then Patrick walks Spongebob home. It was a filler for me, and I was getting pretty bored, and I also didn't really laugh that much in this episode. Most of the jokes fall flat. I would say by the second half of the episode, it did improve because that's when I actually did laugh a little more. Still not a whole lot, but compared to the first half of the episode, I did get more laughs, if not at least maybe more chuckles. Squidward has a part in this episode that I actually thought was a lot of fun. I don't want to really spoil what Squidward does in the second half, but all I could say is that it's one of the most interesting role Squidward has ever done. And oddly, I actually found myself enjoying Squidward's role. There are a few laughs. I still really enjoy the overall idea of the episode. It is simple. Nothing much really does go on here. But like I said, the episode, it's okay. It's got an okay storyline. It's got okay writing. It's an episode that... Helps you get through the time easily. It's an easy watch, in my opinion at least. Some of you might enjoy this episode more than me. Some of you might enjoy this episode less than me. But, yeah, in my opinion, it's an easy watch. But the more I think about the episode, the more forgettable it is, in my opinion. The ending of the episode is very funny. Yeah, I think it's an episode that I could watch again whenever I'm bored. But overall, it is a forgettable episode. It is a disappointing episode, honestly, because I expected so much more. It definitely could have been a whole lot better. But for what the episode was giving us, I would say it's overall enjoyable. Disappointing, but enjoyable. I'm going to give Don't Look Now a 6 out of 10. To my surprise, he did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. I now summon the power of the long lost sandwich recipe! Oh, well, it's eggnog. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess it's close enough. Mmm. That is very good eggnog, I will tell you that. So, I am now reviewing. Seance Schmeance. This episode is about when old man Jenkins, he comes into the Krusty Krab, he orders this sandwich called the Old Rusty 
but the Krusty Krab doesn't serve Old Rusty because apparently there was a restaurant a long time ago before the Krusty Krab was born. SpongeBob wanted the long lost sandwich recipe, so he summons an evil, a living spirit, and he brings out the ghost of Old Rusty. So he makes the sandwich, but then it attracts more ghosts, and what do you know? Chaos comes. This episode, it's awesome. I really enjoyed Seance Schmeons. I was really excited for this episode, and I'm very happy to say that it is just an incredible episode. It's really enjoyable. It's outstanding. My only flaws with this episode is how it overall starts out. Like, obviously, that fortune teller, obviously, it was from the voice actress who does the voice of Mrs. Puff. And it was really distracting me because as I was watching that fortune teller in the very beginning of the episode, I didn't see a fortune teller. I just saw Mrs. Puff and she could have been as a fortune teller in disguise. That just really distracted me. I don't know if he did or didn't, but it kind of felt like Spongebob didn't know who Old Man Jenkins was in the episode. We saw him in the episode The Main Drain. He made a cameo in that episode. And we see him again in this episode, which I think is cool. But Spongebob didn't refer to him as Old Man Jacobs. He just called him Sir. And he kind of looked like he didn't know who he was. Maybe I could be wrong, but I don't know. That that did bug me a little. And I frankly didn't get into the episode until once Mr. Krabs was discussing the Spongebob about the long last sandwich and all that stuff. That's when I got sucked into the episode. And a couple of off execution but this episode overall it's just really awesome really good storyline really amazing concept very crazy uh, ghostly stuff this is definitely an episode to get into the Halloween spirit like this is one of the best bunch of episodes to watch on a Halloween season like most definitely and don't look now we'll get into the Halloween spirit too I mean, since this one's like a ghost episode and all the living spirit stuff, this is like a full-on perfect episode to watch during the Halloween season. This is a great episode all around. I enjoy the living hell out of Seance Schmeon's very well done episode. Very creative writing. I just thought the ending of this episode was just badass. Let's just say towards the end of the episode, there was this badass scene between Mr. Krabs and all of the ghosts of the Krusty Krab. I'm just gonna, that's all I'm gonna say. It was one of the best parts of the episode when Mr. Krabs is just basically kicking ass. Oh, I gotta say, one of the most badass moments of Spongebob, in my opinion, really crazy. All, seeing all those ghosts of the Krusty Krab creating chaos, they just kind of give you adrenaline and say, yes, this is what Spongebob's all about. Yes, this is how it should be offered. Like, wow, this episode is really good. The episode, it has a few problems here and there, but overall, I enjoy the living hell out of Seance Schmeance. And the ending of the episode was actually pretty funny. Patrick was pretty funny here. The episode gives laughs here and there. It made me a very happy SpongeBob fan. And I'm going to give Seance Schmeance and 8.5 out of 10. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!